Okay, here we want to learn how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. So I want to start this lesson out talking about some things we learned when we studied fractions. So recall we add two fractions with a common denominator using the following procedure. So just kind of abstract here, if I have a over b plus c over b, it's equal to a plus c over b. So if I have a common denominator already, then it's equal to the sum of the numerators over that common denominator. But it goes both ways. I can start with this, and I can legally go back to this. Either way, it's the same. Now, what about this over here? 1 fourth plus 2 fourths? Well, of course, that's equal to 1 plus 2, the sum of the numerators, over the common denominator of 4, that gives us 3 fourths. And then 7 thirds plus 4 thirds, as another example, this is equal to 7 plus 4 over 3, which equals 11 thirds. So we can see that the sum of the numerators over the common denominator, or you can always go in reverse. I can take something that's written like this, and I can make it like this. Now, when you're adding fractions, it doesn't do us much good. But you're going to see that when we divide polynomials by a monomial, it's going to help us. Okay, so to divide a polynomial by a monomial, we're going to utilize the same procedure. So I have 8x to the fifth power plus 32x to the fourth power plus 16x cubed, and this is divided by 8. So what am I going to do? Well, let's write this in fractional form to start. So 8x to the fifth power plus 32x to the fourth power plus 16x cubed. This is all over 8. So what we need to realize here is that we have a common denominator. And so if I start with the sum of the numerators over the common denominator, I can break it up into each part here over that common denominator. So each term of this, of this polynomial, 8x to the fifth power, can be written over 8, then plus 32x to the fourth power, then over 8, then plus 16x cubed, and this is over 8. So now once I've split this up like this, now I can go through and divide each part separately, and that's going to help me out. So what I want to do is 8x to the fifth power over 8, what can I do here? Well, it's 8 over 8 is 1. I'm just going to be left with x to the fifth power, then plus. Now I have 32x to the fourth power over 8. 32 over 8 is 4. So I'm going to be plus 4x to the fourth power. And then I have 16x cubed over 8. 16 over 8 is 2. So I'll end up with plus 2x cubed. Now the beautiful thing about this is that you can always check division with multiplication. So if I got the right answer here, if 8x to the fifth power plus 32x to the fourth power plus 16x cubed divided by 8 is equal to x to the fifth power plus 4x to the fourth power plus 2x cubed, it will be true that if I multiply this answer here, which is your quotient, by this right here, which is your divisor, it should give me back this right here, which is the dividend. So let's multiply this, x to the fifth power plus 4x to the fourth power, plus 2x cubed. I'm going to multiply this by 8. Let's see what we get. So 8 times x to the fifth power is 8x to the fifth power, plus 8 times 4x to the fourth power, that's 32x to the fourth power, and then plus 8 times 2x cubed, that's 16x cubed. So we end up with 8x to the fifth power, plus 32x to the fourth power, plus 16x cubed. So, and that's exactly what we got right here, okay? So we see that multiplying our answer, our quotient, by the divisor is going to give us back the dividend. That's how we know if we got the right answer or not. Okay, let's take a look at this one. x cubed plus 18x squared minus 2x divided by 6x. So again, I'm going to write this in fractional form. And then remember, it's legal to split this up, right? So x cubed over 6x, then plus 18x squared over 6x, then minus 2x over 6x. And I can just work from it from here. So if I look at this, x cubed over 6x, I know that the quotient rule for exponents tells me that basically I'm going to have x to the power of 3 minus 1. So it's going to be x squared and then over 6, then plus. Next I have 18x squared over 6x. So this 18 cancels with the 6, it gives me a 3. 
and then this x squared cancels with the x, and we'd be left with just x. So this would be 3x, and then minus, now I have 2x over 6x. The x's cancel completely, and you're left with 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So our answer is x squared over 6 plus 3x minus 1 third. Now again, if you want to check this, you multiply this answer, this quotient, by this divisor, and it should give you this dividend back. So let's do that and check it. So we'll have x squared over 6 plus 3x minus 1 third, and we're multiplying this by 6x, which was the divisor. So 6x times x squared over 6, this 6 would cancel with this 6, and you'd have x times x squared, which is x cubed. Then next, you would have 6x times 3x, that would be plus 18x squared. Then finally, you'd have 6x times negative 1 third. The 6 and the 3 would cancel and would leave you a 2, so you'd have minus 2x. So x cubed plus 18x squared minus 2x, and that's what we started with. x cubed plus 18x squared minus 2x. So we know our answer there is correct. All right, so let's take a look at this one. 2x cubed plus 18x minus 3. This is divided by negative 6x cubed. And I'll go ahead and skip the step where I write it as a long fraction over one common denominator. Let's just break it up. We'll go to 2x cubed over negative 6x cubed then plus 18x over negative 6x cubed, then minus 3 over negative 6x cubed. Okay. What's this equal to? Well, 2x cubed over negative 6x cubed, now I can cancel this x cubed with this x cubed, that's gone. And then 2 over negative 6 is going to be negative 1 third. So this would be negative 1 third then we have 18x over negative 6x cubed. I know that's going to be negative. This x would cancel with this x cubed. What I'd be left with is x squared right there. Okay, So then I'd have 18 over negative 6, and that's negative 3. So negative 3 over x squared. Then finally, I have minus 3 over negative 6x cubed. So might as well treat this as negative 3 up here. Negative 3 over negative 6 would be 1 half, so plus 1 half, and then you have an x cubed in the denominator. So basically 1 over 2x cubed. Okay, so that's our answer. Now again, let's check this. Let's multiply this quotient times this divisor here. We should get this back. Let's do that down here. So I'm going to have negative 1 third minus 3 over x squared plus 1 over 2x cubed. Okay, we're multiplying this by. Okay, so negative 1 third times negative 6x cubed. Negative times negative is positive. 6 over 3 is 2, and then you have x cubed. Next, I have negative 6x cubed times negative 3 over x squared. The negatives are going to cancel out, and you're going to have 6 times 3, that's 18. And you have x cubed over x squared, that's x. Then lastly, we have negative 6x cubed times 1 over 2x cubed. So the x cubes will cancel. Then you have a negative 6 over a 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 or minus 3 here. So 2x cubed plus 18x minus 3. That's what we started with. 2x cubed plus 18x minus 3. So that's how you know you got the right answer. Okay, let's take a look at this last one here. So we have negative x to the fifth power over 6 minus 3x cubed plus 9x minus 1 half. This is divided by 18x. So again, we're going to use the same technique. We'll start with this first term here, negative x to the fifth power over 6. We're going to divide this by 18x. So because we're working with a complex fraction basically here, I'll write this as 18x over 1. Then minus, next we have 3x cubed, and this is over 18x. Then we have plus 9x, and that's over 18x. And then finally we have minus 1 half, and this is divided by 18x. And again, I'm going to put over 1. Okay, so now, all the way on the left, we have negative x to the fifth power over 6, and then this is divided by 18x over 1. 
So basically, we're just going to keep the first or the top part, the numerator of this complex fraction the same. And we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator of the complex fraction, so times 1 over 18x. And let's just crank this out and I'll erase it and put the right answer. So all you can do here is cancel or use the quotient rule for exponents and cancel out this x right here. And this will become negative x to the fourth power. So let's just write this as negative x to the fourth power. And then we're going to multiply 6 times 18. 6 times 18 would be 60 plus 48. So that would be 108. So this will become negative x to the fourth power over 108. Okay, next we have minus, we have 3x cubed over 18x. So this 3 would cancel out with this 18, you'd be left with 6 in the denominator. So let's write that as 1 over 6. And then you have x cubed over x, which of course is going to be x squared. So you're going to end up with x squared over 6 for that. So then plus, now we have 9x over 18x. At this point, you probably can look at that and tell it's going to be 1 half, right? The x's are going to cancel out perfectly. And 9 over 18 is the same as 1 half. So this would be plus 1 half. Then lastly, we have minus 1 half over 18x divided by 1. So another complex fraction. So minus 1 half times the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over 18x. And of course, the only thing you do here is just multiply 2 times 18x. So this ends up being minus 1 over 36x. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is just check it because we've checked all of them so far. It's something I advise you to do because particularly when you're working with polynomials, it's really easy to make either a sign mistake or just to leave something out because it gets so tedious and long. So let's multiply this by, and I'll do it down here. So we'll have negative x to the fourth power over 108 minus x squared over 6 plus 1 half minus 1 over 36 times x. We're going to multiply this by 18x. And of course, when we do that, we should end up with this, right? Negative x to the fifth power over 6 minus 3x cubed plus 9x minus 1 half. That's our goal. If we get that, then we have the right answer. So what is 18x multiplied by this negative x to the fourth power over 180? Well, we know x times x to the fourth power is x to the fifth power. So this is negative x to the fifth power. So think about basically this right here. So 18 I can write as 3 times 3 times 2. 108, let me think, it'd be 36 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3. That's 12. Times 3 would be 36. Then times 3 would be 108. So now I can cancel. These two factors are 3 with these two factors are 3. This factor 2 with this factor 2. And I'm left with 1 over 6. So what we're going to end up with negative x to the fifth power over 6. Okay, next we have 18x being multiplied by negative x squared over 6. So we know it's negative. And then x times x squared is x cubed. So this would be an x cubed out here. And then we basically have 18 over 6 which ends up being 3. So then minus 3x cubed. Next we have 18x times 1 half. Basically I just need to divide the 18 by the 2. That gives me 9, then times x, so then plus 9x. Then finally I have minus 18x over 36x. So the x's would cancel completely. And you have 18 over 36, which is 1 half. So we end up with negative x to the fifth power over 6 minus 3x cubed, plus 9x, minus 1 half. And that's exactly what we started with right here, right? Negative x to the fifth power over 6, minus 3x cubed, plus 9x, minus 1 half. So hopefully this gives you a little insight into how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. This is by far the easiest procedure to do. It. Just take your polynomial and split it up into individual terms and have each term divided separately by the divisor or the common denominator, as you might say. Go through and perform your division separately, and then in the end, look to see if you can combine any like terms or do anything further. Now, once you're done with that, you want to check to make sure you have the right answer. So multiply your quotient by your divisor, and it should give you your dividend back if you got the right answer.